Hi, I'm Eric and this is Try Not To Break Anything. Today's gonna be a really quick video. I'm gonna show you how to replace the nozzle on a Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. This process can also be used for the Bamboo Lab A1. So if you've got one of those instead of the Mini, it's gonna be the same process, super simple. So I'll shut up and start getting into it. Let's go. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to wanna make sure that whatever filament's still in the nozzle has been cut. So you're gonna go ahead and move the slicer and cut the filament in case there is any there. Once you feel no resistance, it means that the filament has been cut and you can go ahead and start removing the faceplate. To remove the faceplate, it's very simple. I like to reach from down here and I just pull it off from the bottom. Oops, yeah, pull it off from the bottom and it comes right off. And with the faceplate removed, all you have to do next is pull off the rubber sock. And while I struggle with this step for some reason, Take a moment to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see and uh, hit the notification bell if you want to see more. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to see and look for this little latch here. You're going to go ahead and pull back the latch. Open the little gate. And then from there, you can just grab it by the nozzle here and gently, or actually from the heat sink up here, and just gently bring it down and out. And here is the old nozzle. You'll notice that you have a little bit of filament sticking out at the top. That's fine, you don't need to cut it, you don't need to remove it. That can stay there if you'd like. This little bit of filament always gets purged out every time you do a new print. So I'll set that aside. And today I'm going to replace my nozzle with a Bamboo Lab 0.2 nozzle. But before we do that, we're gonna closely inspect the thermistor to make sure that there's no debris here. Because on the hot end, it's got a little concave section here that needs to sit directly against this part of the hot end. So we're gonna just now do the same steps we did before, but in reverse. This time, we're gonna make sure that our gate is open and the latch is open. We're gonna go ahead and put our nozzle into its spot. And once it's snugly up here, you'll check to make sure it's snugly placed down here. And you're gonna move the gate back over, and then you're just gonna go ahead and close the latch. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna take your rubber sock and you'll see that it's open at the top here, but closed at the bottom. So what you're gonna do then is you're going to make sure that the bottom part gets placed underneath the tip of your hot end. You'll see the little tip sticking out right here. And then you're gonna make sure that the rest of the sock is neatly wrapped around in between the part of the hot end and the heat sink and making sure it's nice and flush. With that being done, we go ahead and put our face plate back on. Starting from the top side, making sure that it's hooked in up here and then snapping into place. Let's say you're switching from your previous nozzle size to a different nozzle size. Like in our case, we just swapped out a 0.4 millimeter nozzle for a 0.2 millimeter nozzle. The next thing you wanna do is go to Bamboo Studio and you are going to go to your little printer drop down setting and you're going to select the correct preset now in my case i put a 0.2 nozzle there and i don't have that preset available in order to correct that you can go to the little gear icon which is right here from there you just go down to whichever printer model you have and you add the applicable nozzles that you have available or plan on getting hit confirm and then you'll see that my Bamboo Lab A1 Mini now has the 0.2 nozzle available. Now you should be ready to go print without any problems. And that's it for today's video. I'm working on a series right now on how to maintain the A1 Mini, as well as different things that you need to do in order to make changes or fixes to the printer. So if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe so you can see those videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, if you have a moment, check out one of these other videos that I've done. Could be cool. It could also not be cool, but maybe you'll like it. You won't know until you try it. All right. Bye.